Hi, and welcome back to Learning with Miss Feline. And today we are going to look at what shapes have sides and what shapes do not have sides. And when we are finished going over the shapes, we are going to learn how to draw the shapes. So come on, join me, let's have some fun. First shape rectangle and the rectangle has four sides and four corners so let's look at the corners and the sides so we have one side over here two three and four and then we have four corners one two three four a rectangle the next shape over here is a special shape this can be called a diamond a rhombus or even a kite. This is also called a quadrilateral shape. It has four sides and four corners. Let's count our sides and our corners. One, two, three, four. Four corners. One, two, three, four sides. This is a kite, a rhombus, or a diamond. The next shape is also in the quadrilateral family. This is called a trapezoid. The trapezoid has four sides, four corners. One, two, three, four. Four sides, one, two, three, four corners. Trapezoid. Our next shape is the oval. So when you think of an oval, think of an egg. The egg has zero sides and zero corners. This is a oval. Our next shape is a triangle. A triangle has three sides and three corners. And in the word triangle, it has the word tri in it. T-R-I. T-R-I means tri. Tri means three. So let's count our three corners and our three sides. One corner, two, three corners. One, two, three. Three sides. Triangle. Our next shape. Think of the stop sign. Stop. This shape is called an octagon. Octagon has eight sides and eight corners. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Those are the sides and eight corners. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Think of the stop sign and also think of an octopus. Octagon, octopus. An octopus has eight legs, just like an octagon. Octagon. The next shape is a star. Twinkle, twinkle, little star. Star has five points. One, two, three, four, five. A star. Our next shape is a pentagon. A pentagon has five sides and five corners. One, two, three, four, five, five points. One, two, three, four, five, five corners. And remember, it has the pointy top at the top. A pentagon. Our next shape looks like a box. We call this shape a square. A square is also a quadrilateral shape. It has four sides and four corners. One, two, three, four. Four sides, four corners, and one, two, three, four. Four sides. And then our last shape, we call it a hexagon. A hexagon has six sides and six corners. One, two, three, four, 
five, six. Those are the corners. And one, two, three, four, five, six. And six sides. This is a hexagon. So those are our shapes. These are our 2D shapes. Why are they 2D? These are 2D shapes because they lay flat on surfaces. They do not stand up. They lay flat. So now let's move on to drawing our shapes. Let's learn how to draw our different shapes that we have just learned today. So first we're going to look at the rectangle. So let's draw the rectangle. Grab a pencil, grab a paper, and let's get to drawing. So to draw a rectangle, you are going to first make your first line going across, and then one line going down, another line going down, and then one line on the bottom also going across. That is a rectangle. So let's draw our next shape. Our next shape we are going to draw is a triangle. Let's draw a triangle. So remember a triangle has three sides and three corners. So to draw a triangle, we're going to start at the top and make a line going down diagonal. Then you're gonna go back up to the top again and make a line going down to going sideways. And then you're gonna start at the bottom and you're gonna go all the way to the right. And that is a triangle. Let's draw our next shape. Our next shape is what? Help me out. What do we call this shape? Did you say an oval, like an egg? If you said an oval, you are correct. So let's draw an oval. So an oval just goes like this. This is an oval, and it looks like a shape of an egg. Let's draw our next shape. Let's see if you remember what is this shape's name. What do we call this shape? If you said a trapezoid, you are correct. So let's draw our trapezoid, okay? So we have our trapezoid. Let's draw the trapezoid. Line up on the top going across, line going down, line going down, and then a line on the bottom. That is our trapezoid, a trapezoid. Let's look at our next shape. Do you remember the name of this special shape? This special shape has three names. So if you said a kite, or a rhombus, or a diamond, you are correct. So let's draw our special shape. So take up. I'm gonna go right here, then we're gonna go down, and then we're gonna go down, and then we're gonna go up. And that is our diamond kite and our rhombus. Let's draw our next shape. Our next shape is a what? <gasps> Help me out. What do we call the shape that looks like a box? <gasps> Did you say a square? If you said square, you are correct. This is a square. So help me draw a square. That is a square. It looks like a box. Just a box. Let's look at our next shape. Our next shape. <gasps> What is the name of the shape that has the pointy top? What do we call that shape? <gasps> Did you say a pentagon? If you said pentagon, you are correct. Let's draw our pentagon. So remember our pentagon has a pointy top like a triangle, triangle. And then we make our line go down like this. 
And then we have our box on the bottom. That is our pentagon. Let's look at our next shape. Our next shape is a hexagon. You are correct. It is a hexagon. So let's draw our hexagon. Okay. And I'm going to leave the pentagon up so you can see the difference between a hexagon and a pentagon. Remember the pentagon has five sides and the hexagon has six. One, two, three, four, five. And then the hexagon has six. One, two, three, four, five, six. That is the difference between the pentagon and the hexagon. And then we also have another shape that says a gone at the end. Do you remember the name of this shape? If you said the octagon, you are correct. So let's draw our octagon. So we can see the difference between the pentagon, hexagon, and the octagon. Okay, so that is a octagon. So it has one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Do you see the difference? Five, six, and eight. So the pentagon has five, the hexagon has six, and the octagon has eight. Okay, so that is the difference between these Agon shapes. And then the last shape, we leave the vest for last, is the star. So help me sing that song again. Twinkle, twinkle, little star, how I wonder what you are. Up above the world so high, like a diamond in the sky. Twinkle, twinkle, little star, how I wonder what you are. Yay! So remember, this is a star. So let's draw our last shape, the star. So let's draw our star. Let's hold our star up. So we're going to have our star here. Then we are going to have one point here, the other point there, and then here and there. Yay! We did it. Now we have our star. Yay! So now we have drawn all of our shapes and we learned all of our shapes. Thank you for joining Miss Felina today and I hope to see you on the next video. Bye.